I have a serious question to ask you. You're driving along and you see a fire up ahead. Now all of a sudden that fire engulfs your route. Would you drive through this? How about this? There's a severe weather threat and dark clouds surround you. Now a tornado forms and blocks your path. Would you drive through this? I think in both of these cases, you would agree with me, the answer is no. So my question to you is, why do we drive through water when we don't know how deep it is? First of all, six inches of water will knock you off your feet. Now it has to be moving water, there has to be a current, and usually we don't have that in Southeast Texas. It's more an issue in the hill country. But our issue comes in when the water level rises to one foot. That will float most small cars. Now our cars were not built to float, so water gets in the engine and can cause four to six thousand dollars in repairs. And that's for older cars. Now I know a lot of us drive large SUVs. Now it takes a little more to get these guys to float. But two feet of standing water is the real issue. It will get an SUV to float. The real problem is it's hard to tell the difference between six inches, one foot, or two feet of water on the roads. That's why you hear us say all the time, if you don't know how deep the water is, don't drive through it. Turn around, don't drown. So when in doubt, pick another route. Here's some sobering statistics. There have already been 21 flood deaths this year. Of the 21 deaths, 18 were in a vehicle, all 18 were preventable.